Hey everyone, hope you guys are doing well. We are back with another What's Sold. This is going to be part two, I believe, hopefully. Um, but hopefully you guys will find something here that I've sold that you can learn. Something that you can either look out for, a bolo, or maybe something not to. Again, I am doing this on the on part time. I have a full time job. This is what I do on the side. Just try to sell some stuff to make some extra money. Uh, my family and I are trying to buy a house. So that's kind of the, the main goal right now is to save up for that. So hopefully we'll be able to continue and have some success this year so we can get to that goal. Um, I want to say that I am going to have a question part on the end of this. Um, it's a question about returns. Um, some people have, multiple people have asked questions about my return rate and how I handle returns, free returns, not returns. So I'll jump into that at the end if you want to hear it. But for now, we'll get right into the what's sold. Hope you guys enjoy and take care. Hey everyone, uh, we're back with the what sold for the weekend, uh, 29 sales, two of them are not here yet, so you'll hopefully see those in the next clip, but um, 29 sales, including sales tax, I think the total is like 1390 about, just shy, just shy of that, so an awesome weekend for um, 29 sales, cannot complain about that at all, and this is basically how, the, how I want to run my business, it's a multitude of different items, it's not just one niche, it's just pretty much any and everything, and if you watch my videos for any length of time, you see that I just sell whatever I can find. I don't really care what it is. If I can make some money, I'll usually try to make some money on it, and that's kind of what shows what I'm showing here, and this is what I want you guys to look out for if you're trying to add some new things is think outside the box, find some other things you may have not sold before, and try to sell those. So we'll start off with the best item. Um, go out with the bang. These are, or start off with the bang. These are Jordan's 1999, like what, Team J white Neptunes, I think. I'm not a shoe guy, so I apologize. They're a vintage shoe, though. Honestly, I think they look super cool. Um, these were 30 bucks at a garage, so I knew they were old. I could, it has a uh, year 99 in there, so I could saw that, but I could tell by the style. Um, and I ended up selling, paid 30 bucks for those. He wanted 50. He, the lady was negotiating for the, her son, I guess, and I was like, well, I'll, I was thinking I'll offer 20, and then she's like, oh, he really wants 50. In my head, I'm going, I'll just offer 20, and she goes, he really wanted 50 bucks. I'm like, great, they're not going to take 20, so I'm like, well, I'll just try to be kind, and I'll do 30, and they took it, and then he came out, and he goes, yeah, I was about to just drop the price down to like 20 or something, so I'm like, man, I could have got him for 20, but after what they sold for, I cannot complain. These guys sold for 170 shipped. Um, I did sell them used, kind of as is condition. They're still in pretty good shape. I mean, they're not they're not trashed or anything, but um, look out for these if you can find them. Old Jordans do do well, um, but I'm not like an expert on them. But those were awesome. Thirty bucks into one seventy, the number one sale of today. Uh, not to be outdone. Uh, well, they are outdone, but just another cool. This is more of my style. These Nike Metcons um, fours. These were. I think 16 bucks or something there. I paid up. They're a little dirty, but they're just an awesome looking shoe, in my opinion. Um, you guys can kind of see that there. So these guys were, I think, 16 bucks or something. They sold for 70 shipped. So pretty good deal there. Um, not all Metcon 4s are the same, but those ones did pretty well. And um, this is a Rawlings glove. I took a picture different. I don't like the way it turned out. You see on the screen, but it's a GP125. This one sold for like 31 bucks or something like that. I think I paid five. Goes in a padded flat rate. That's a good price for, you know, not really a great glove. Um, but I don't really like the photo I took. So I still sell gloves this time of year. They should start selling. Well, I should say spring, summer. That's kind of usually when I sell more of them. And as the winter comes, it kind of slows down. Some more socks sold. You guys probably have been seeing these. Um, this is the Despicable Me and I believe Pokemon lot. Hopefully I grabbed the right two because that's what I thought it was. But they sold for 15 ship. Paid a buck each for those. Uh, Yankees pro player, um, jacket here by, what is it, pro player, but is it might be Majestic, I don't know, I guess not, uh, this sold for like 24 shipped, I think I paid 5 bucks for it from a thrift store, probably over, almost 2 years ago, and I've had it listed high, I keep lowering it, lowering it, lowering it, and it finally sold for 24 shipped, I am so happy to see that one gone, here is a little model kit from the big train buy, this one is a bunch of, a couple different aircrafts you can make, this sold for like 38 shipped or something like that, 28 shipped. I don't know, but you'll see on the screen. It's super light, probably go first class. So the Wii console, you guys have seen me sell these, 30 shipped, tested it out, it works. Does not have the little uh, cover for the GameCube controller ports, but sold that for 30 shipped. This just goes in a padded flat rate. So what I'll do is I'll put a little cardboard around it just to offer a little protection, then a layer of bubble, throw it in the bubble mail, and it's on its way. So far, no issues. So if you want to try that, you can. There's other methods, though. Um, a little Wii remote. 
This one sold for 12 shipped. It's just a pink one. It's not a Wii Motion Plus, but I know some people like the pink one, so sold that for 12. Um, here's a little Gumby. This is one of those things, guys, that I um I think I've mentioned before, but I like selling little stuff. Some people don't want to mess around. You can see he's even dirty and kind of scuffed up, but some people don't want to mess around with these 10, 12, 15 dollar sales. Not worth your time. Um, these ones I just listed this weekend, right out, right in the same batch, including this uh, this Wii and this and this, and they all sold within a two days or something like that. Gumby sold for 12. He was just in a big toy buy. I looked him up and that he sold easy. Again, that was 12 bucks ship. It took not much time to list. So certain things for the right price, I would recommend taking some time and listing them because, you know, what is that? Six or seven bucks in my pocket when it's all said and done for just a little toy. I'll take that. Um, so these are some Raytheon uh, radio tubes. I'm not going to pull them out, but you'll see them on the screen. I bought a bunch of these from storage unit guy and this little batch sold for 15 ship. They go first class. Not all tubes are worth money. A lot of people think that all of them are. Certain ones are worth way more than others. These obviously weren't too expensive, but I'll take the 15 chip on those. Here's a Microsoft Zune. It's similar to an iPod if you haven't heard of it. It's an 80 gig. Model 1129 maybe. It's not going to focus. Whatever. Um, this little guy right here. Don't look at me in there. But this little guy. Um, I got three Zunes uh, from 30 bucks from one of my sources. They all do not work. I got two 80 gigs and one like 4 gig or something. Uh, this one sold for 43 ship. I should get 43 ship for the other 80 gig. Again, I paid 30 and I think I'll probably get 20 or something for the 4 gig. So 30 into 100. They're going to ship first class. It's easy money, but it's not an amazing deal. But again, with your sources, sometimes you're paying up just to kind of keep the inventory flowing, keep the money moving. And I'm definitely going to make money. Canon A1, if you're not really into cameras, this is one to look out for. These always sell. I sold it as is, and it still sold for 81 shipped. I had paid 10 bucks. I included the lens. Some people will take the lens off and sell it separately. I just throw it on there just to add a little bit of value. And when you're only in it for 10 bucks, 81 shipped is plenty fine with me. Now look out for this stuff. This is brand new. This is um, Cat Genie Santa Solution, scent free. It's, uh, it is sealed. I just put in this plastic just to kind of keep it protected and everything. But it's all sealed in there. It's not like leaking or anything like that. This sold for like 29 shipped. I bought a bunch of Cat Genie stuff from an offer up deal, surprisingly. Um, I saw them on offer up. She also had some books that I bought. I spent 20 bucks. The book should go for about, I put 10 on the books. They should go for 60 bucks. I spent $10 on all the cat stuff. This went for 29. The other stuff should go for about 50. So in the end, we're going to do, you know, pretty well on a $20 buy from offer up. There's still money to be made. You just got to look in the weird categories. It's not always the video games. You're going to find the best deal. Um, Nintendo 64. Cool thing about this is it does work. It has an aftermarket um, AV cable. I buy them in bulk online because a lot of times you don't have the official one. The official ones sell like 12 bucks online. So I get these ones for like four or five bucks each. The aftermarket ones, they still work. This one actually has a little crack in the back of the plastic and it's missing the expansion pack cover, uh, but it did have the expansion pack. So I still got 64 shipped out of this. I was, I could have ordered a replacement. I may have one in the storage unit somewhere, but I didn't feel like looking. So I just listed it and it sold within a day. So that was also listed with the Wii stuff. So that's awesome. These are some like decorative gold. They're not made of gold, but they're like Sirocco. Um, what is that? Burwood or whatever products. It's like, like Sirocco is kind of a similar brand, I think, or a style. Or I'm not really sure, but um, these guys I got for three bucks each or something like that. Maybe five bucks for the pair. And they sold for like 41 ship. So not a great deal, but they're not too heavy. We'll probably cost us 12 to 15 to ship them and we'll make some money there. Um, some of this old um, kind of decorative stuff does have a market. It's not as valuable as it used to be, but certain things can sell well. I thought they looked pretty cool and I'm happy with the turnout on those. Uh, oh, little Metroid game sold for 13 ship. I think that was like a buck. And then this little code breaker was with a bunch of video game stuffs, or stuffs, the video game stuff. And it sold for like 20 ship or something like that. Um, this is a bunch of, not a bunch, but it's a Stampin' Up! Wolf uh, Mount, uh, what is that? Stampin' Up! Wolf um, set here. It's a bunch of stamps, and these ones are from 2001. I've sold this print, this set before. There's actually supposed to be one or two more. I used to get like 40 bucks if you could find this one. This one and one of the horse ones do really well. There's a fishing one that does well. Uh, but this one ended up selling for like 24 shipped. I paid five bucks for it. So if you do see the wolf one, you can make some money, especially if it's a complete set. And moving on to the media. Greatest American Heroes, brand new sealed. These were six bucks for the pair at Savers. They sold for 38 shipped. So 
Good little DVD set. When I'm looking out for DVDs, guys, I'm looking out for shows I've never heard of or something that looks odd. Those are the ones I'm scanning. The rest I'm not really messing with. If it's a show that I've heard of, I don't usually look those ones up. Or by now, I kind of know they're not really worth anything. And stuff that's sealed, obviously, you can look up. X-Men sold for 10 or 12 ships. Sorry for the glare. Um, these were cool. Agatha Christie. These are part of a box set. It came with the box set, but the box, the sleeve of the box set smelled disgusting. The person must have been a smoker. Uh, I didn't notice it at first. I just pulled out the DVDs. They were all in there and they were all complete. So I was like, oh, cool. And it was only a dollar. I saw they sold for about 28 ships, something like that. So it was great. When I got them back, I'm like, man, this thing smells disgusting. Even the, I was worried about the cases. So what I did was I actually replaced them. You can see here one of them is kind of not the same color. I put four random cases in here. I did put the artwork back in. It seemed to be okay. And the discs seemed to be fine. They do not smell anymore, and I still sold it just through the box, uh, the sleeve away, because it was just, it was like stained inside. You could tell, like, it was just disgusting. But think outside the box, guys, because I could have just gave up on this, but instead listed it. And again, not all matches, but it still sold for 24 ships. So for a dollar, I'll take it. Centennial, another DVD thing I hadn't, uh, when I first found this one a couple months ago, uh, I hadn't seen it before, looked it up, paid a dollar, it sold for 14 shipped. This time, same thing, saw it, I knew it, recognized it though, paid a dollar, and it sold for 14 shipped. Here is a return, guys. Um, this was a Game Boy Advance, it was returned, sold it for 88 shipped. The guy got it, and he said, found a better price. Um, so he ended up returning mine. I thought it was a, might be a scam. Nope, everything came back, it's fine. Listed it again, I've had offers of 75, 80, but I'm like, I'm just going to wait it out. It's a, kind of a unique thing, and it sold again for 88 shipped. We can't cry over returns. They happen, especially when you offer free returns. And you just hope it doesn't happen on some stuff. But the reality is it does. I try. I get frustrated too, guys. I'm not saying that I'm sitting here like immune to being frustrated. But at the same time, um, you got to be able to kind of roll with the punches. Just a little side note. February was the highest returns I ever had. 12 returns in February. Granted, for my sale volume, that's still not really that bad. But um, it was not where I wanted to be. Usually, I'm like 5 maybe six. So it was almost double. I think I was up to like four pushing 5% or something like that. So not where you want to be for returns. And they were, most of them were dumb. I think one may have been my fault. And I think a couple of them never shipped it back. So they were closed out anyway. So maybe that brings it down to like 10, but still uh, frustrating, but it's okay, guys, we can all make it through it. Just try to not get too frustrated. Um, a Briar horse of the year, 2015. This one was weird. The other comp was listed for like 70 shipped or something like that but then all the ones that had sold had sold for like 20 25 30 i listed mine for 40 ship because i didn't think it was worth 70 bucks the other one still listed mine sold for 40 ships so that one i kind of undercut just because the market really had been low on these consistently for a long period of time so 40 shipped on that sketcher shape ups um these are like i don't know if they're called mary james or what they're called but um these ones sold for 35 shipped on a best offer I ended up paying five bucks for these at a garage sale. I did include the box and it comes with like a CD and stuff. So pretty good deal there. And then lastly, here is a Bulbasaur Build-A-Bear. This is something to look out for. We had to um, get this one cleaned up and a bunch of stains. You can see one still bit of residue there. It doesn't have the tag. It was cut off and it has a little kind of hole in the back there. We kind of safety pinned it. My wife did to keep it secluded or whatever. So the foam doesn't come out. We washed them. And this one paid a dollar at a garage sale, knew it was valuable when I saw it, and then it sold for 130 shipped. You can get like 150 plus with the tag and with no hole in the back, maybe almost 200. So look out for the Build-A-Bear Bulbasaur. There's some other Pokemon ones that do well too. If you have any questions, let me know. Hey everyone, you guys are probably, if you're paying attention, you saw that this little guy, uh, this putter that was in the back did not get mentioned. This is a Roger Evans stand-up putter. Kind of see here, it's a big thing. I would... Never want to putt with this thing. I used to work at a golf course, but this is just ridiculous. Um, but this thing was part of a golf buy. I had paid 20 bucks for it. It actually came with some Callaway clubs and a Callaway bag. I gave the clubs to my brother-in-law because he wanted to start golf. They were decent. They're not anything special, but, you know, better than your average clubs for sure. I saw this player in there, looked it up, and it sold really well. I had it listed at, sorry, whoops. I had it listed at 90 or best offer, and... Um, this guy, I've had so many offers, 40, 45, 50, 20, 60, and then, I, and then I was trying to get 65 or 70, and then I'm like, you know what, I'll just take 60. The next person offers 60, I'll take it. Got an offer, offered 60, they were at 50, they declined and said 50 is the most, and I'm like, I'm not going down to 50 yet, I'll just hold on to it, and it sold today 
or full price, 90 shipped. So sometimes you just wait out and maybe you feel like you're being a little greedy, but sometimes it works out, you know? I guess 90 wasn't an unfair price. Sometimes they have sold that high, but a lot of them sell cheaper. I just didn't want to let mine go for too cheap. So 90 there. Look out for unique putters. Putters have a definitely a certain following. Certain ones are obviously Scotty Cameron's. That's kind of a no-brainer. And if you find some Odysseys and, you know, tailor-made ones, sometimes they can do well, the common brands. But sometimes unique, weird stuff there's a certain following for. So hope you guys enjoy. If you have any questions again, let me know. Hey everyone, back with the final three sales for the weekend. Um, this is a 1988, I believe, Mazda 626. Yep, workshop manual. This is just the paper one. It's got like, it's already hole punched, so it could go like in a binder. It doesn't have like the book where it's one unique piece. I sold it for $20 shipped. Not a really great deal. It's one of the ones we had. If it was the full one with the cover, it would have done a lot better, but 20 bucks on that. Happy to get rid of it. PS3 little move shooter. Doesn't come with the um, the actual PSC, PS3 Move controller, it comes just with the gun attachment. It looks like it's brand new, but I sold it used. That sold for like 22 ships, something like that. And this book here, Shadow Line, The Art of... Yep, you guys can probably pronounce that because I can't. Um, this was at my local library in their book sale. It was like $7.50 or 9 bucks, something like that, plus 30% um, off. And this, I scanned it while I was there, and this sold for 80, well, it was selling for a lot when I was there, and then I ended up listing it for 80 shipped, and it sold. So, only took about a week or two to sell, so pretty cool. One of those books where I could tell, obviously, the cover is pretty unique there, so I was going to look it up, and 80 bucks shipped on that. Awesome deal. Hey, everyone. Hope you guys are um, enjoying the, the what sold part. We're going to go into the question part. I'm not going to mention any particular... Um, person who asked this question because I've got it a couple different times and I don't remember everyone and I've just responded via Instagram or in the comments before but people want to know my return rate the exact percentage currently is like 2.21 percent uh, that's what my return rate is for all my items uh, which I think is pretty good I sell a lot of uh, electronics video games um, sometimes you get returns in the electronic category everyone not so much video games I guess but in electronics I do sell some clothes and shoes and those are other categories where Sometimes returns can be a little bit higher because of um, the fit and everything like that. Even if you measure, someone doesn't always look or some people think they're one size and they may not be shoes. You know, maybe they need a little wider shoe and this one's more narrow or, or what have you. So I'm pretty happy with 2.21. I wish it was right at two or less. I mean, that's probably what my ideal goal would be. But um, for the volume that I'm selling, um, I can't really complain about um, that percentage of returns. Now. Some people ask how I handle the returns. Um, I handle them as free returns. A lot of people don't want to do that because they think that it just invites people to return back the item no matter what. And maybe it does. I mean, I haven't seen a change when I went to free returns. Um, I used to not do free returns. Uh, my percentage is probably about the same as what it was. Um, I can't really complain, you know, by using free returns and saying that it's making more people return the item. And I would still say... 60 to 70 percent of the returns are for reasons that are not my responsibility or, or something that i missed in the listing or something like that it's usually item didn't fit bought the wrong item i've gotten found a better price i've gotten um ordered by mistake um you know all kinds of different stuff i have one guy i got a return for yesterday said um a uh, buyer sent the wrong item did not receive yet the item had was shipped yesterday so it, it hasn't made it yet um, and then i messaged him just now to clarify and he told me oh i just don't want it anymore because i can get a better deal on a larger unit it's like a little model a larger one for a better price so why would i pay the 40 bucks um so annoying you know frustrating for sure it's like why the heck did you go ahead and make an offer four days ago take three days to finally pay it and then now after i shipped it all of a sudden now you want to open the return but it kind of is the way it is when we're in this business people are used to returning stuff and it happens um and sometimes i've made mistakes too i'll be honest uh, i had one return recently where i sold a little charging dock and i it said sync cable included because i copied someone's listing and in the title i didn't it was right in the middle and i didn't see that and um unfortunately the guy got it and it's for an ipod thing and he goes well, there's no sync cable you know and he's like opened a return and returned it and I apologized and I returned his money, refunded his money and I just relisted it when I got it back and put no, took out the sync cable part and they'll probably sell for the same price in a couple of days but that was a mistake on my end so it does happen guys, don't get discouraged as long as it's not a situation where you're constantly making a mistake in listing or 
overlooking something and then getting a lot of returns, then I would say you probably want to check your what you're doing to make sure. But if if you're getting those common ones where people item doesn't fit or the order by mistake or whatever, then don't worry about it. You know, it happens. Just try to roll with it. Um, I mean, obviously it sucks to lose the money. That's also why you always want to keep some funds in whatever account you're using for returns. Like I know some people pull everything out of PayPal, but I always leave something there in case something weird happens um, with a b bunch of returns coming through. But hopefully that's your guys' question. Again, about 2.21%. I think like 40 to 50% of the returns are on shoes and clothes when I was checking last. And then the, most of the rest are on uh, electronics. And then there's a bunch of other ones that there's a couple returns in. Um, I've had returns and like one person said the condition wasn't as described and I thought I described it in good, good enough condition or I described it well. They thought otherwise it's just kind of a difference of opinion. I took it and moved on. So again, I hope that uh, answers your questions. Those have asked, if you have any more, be sure to let me know in the comments, um, you, what the question is. I'll try to answer them, um, as best I can, but take care guys.